What up, everybody? This is your boy, Tech G, back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1001 examination. So let's get into it. When it comes to building a physical network, you will need some key networking tools that will help you with running, terminating, and testing cable. So we're going to talk about some of these networking tools that will help you be successful with building this network, such as cable cutters, cable strippers, crimpers, punch down tools, multimeters, tone generators and probes, cable testers, loopback plugs, and Wi-Fi analyzers. Oh my. One tool you should have is a good sharp cutting tool. Cable cutters, they come in all shapes, sizes, and capabilities for a variety of jobs, whether the jobs involve copper, aluminum, or coaxial cable. The manufacturers of cable cutters have their own unique niche, special design, strength, and versatility. No two pair of cable cutters are alike. When you need to make a clean cut on the end of a network cable, scissors simply will not do. So get some cable cable cutters in your life. Another tool that you will need is a cable stripper. Cable and wire strippers are devices used to remove sections of insulation, also known as plastic jackets, from underlying wires and prepare cables for installation. Stripping cable stripping that is, but stripping is an important process that allows for the conductor to be terminated or spliced. Another tool that you're going to need is called a crimper. Now, a crimping tool is a device used to conjoin two pieces of metal by deforming one or both of them to hold to each other. The result of the tool's work is called a crimp. A crimper attaches to a connector to the end of a raw twisted pair or a coaxial cable. If you are working with twisted pair, you need an RJ45 crimping tool, which often also works with the RJ11 telephone cable. After untwisting the wire pairs and aligning them according to the appropriate standard, which is typically the T568 Bravo, which you'll learn about later on, you would insert them into the RJ45 connector and push the cable and the connector assembly into the crimper, line up the crimper jaw with the recess area of the connector, and then squeeze. Oh yeah. The punch down tool. So a punch down tool is a small hand tool used by network technicians to insert wire into insulation displacement connectors, patch panels, or punch down blocks. A punch down tool punches individual wires down into the 110 IDC clips of an RJ45 jack and the patch panel. The punching down of the wires is the actual termination. The patch cables connect the various ports of the patch panel to a switch and the RJ45 connects to the computers. Then we have the multimeter. So a multimeter, also known as a multi-tester, is an electronic measuring instrument that combines several measurement functions in one unit. A typical multimeter can measure voltage, current, and resistance. Analog multimeters use a micro ammeter with a moving pointer to display readings. Digital multimeters, which is the most common form of a multimeter in use today, they have a numeric display and may also show a graphical bar representing the measured value. Multimeters can be used for testing both coaxial and twisted pair cabling, as well as AC and DC voltages to test computer power supplies and AC adapters. All multimeters have standard red and black test leads. When used for voltage tests, the red lead is attached to the power source to be measured and the black lead is attached to the ground. Then we have the tone generator and probe. So a tone generator and probe kit is an excellent tool for finding individual phone lines and it consists of two components. The first component is the tone device and this connects to one end of the network cable and sends a tone along the length of the cable. Then we have the probing device. This is also known as an inductive amplifier and it can pick up the tone anywhere along the cable length and at the termination point. 
Next, we have the cable tester. A cable tester is an electronic device used to verify the electrical connections in a signal cable or other wired assembly. Basic cable testers are continuity testers that verify the existence of a conductive path between ends of the cable and verify the correct wiring of connectors on the cable. More advanced cable testers can measure the signal transmission properties of the cable, such as its resistance, signal signal attenuation, noise, and interference. Cable testers include a LAN testing unit that can be plugged into a port on the patch panel and a terminator that can be plugged into the other end of the cable into the corresponding RJ45 jack. This tool tests each wire in the cable and makes sure everything is wired properly. And then we have what is called the loop back plug. So a loop back plug, which is also known as a wrap plug, is a connector used for diagnosing transmission problems. It plugs into an ethernet or an RJ45 port or a serial port and crosses over the transmit line to the receiving line so that the outgoing signals can be redirected back into the computer for testing to verify whether the network adapter and TCP IP are functioning properly. And finally, we have what is called a Wi-Fi analyzer. So a Wi-Fi analyzer allows for you to analyze both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless networks in the area. Wireless networks use specific channels within the wireless spectrum. An overcrowded wireless channel results in decreased bandwidth and or connectivity issues for your network. You can use a Wi-Fi analyzer to see what channels are in use and to identify the best channel to set up on your router. A Wi-Fi analyzer can be a standalone device, a program for a desktop computer, or an app on your smartphone. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some check on learning, shall we? So the first question is, uh, you are helping a friend with a new wireless router. They are complaining that certain areas of their apartment have much slower internet than others. They live in a dense area with many other apartments in Wi-Fi range. What tool could help you troubleshoot this issue? Would it be a wireless loopback plug? Would it be a port scanner? Would it be a spectrum tester or would it be a Wi-Fi analyzer? So you're helping your friend with their new router. You're living in an apartment with a whole bunch of other people using the internet and your internet is having problems. What could help you potentially figure out what may be causing the issues? The correct answer is uh, a Wi-Fi analyzer could help you potentially identify issues that may be causing interference with your friend's Wi-Fi connection. Next question. Which of the following tools can verify an Ethernet cable's wires are in the correct order? Would it be a cable tester? Would it be a wattage plug? Would it be a loopback plug? Or would it be an amplimeter? So which of the following tools can verify an Ethernet cable's wires are in the correct order? The correct answer is uh, a cable tester would be able to verify if those wires are in the correct order, ladies and gentlemen. And the final question, which of the following is a device used to test ports, such as a network port? Would it be a tone generator? Would it be a loopback plug? Would it be a cable tester? Or would it be a leakage tester. So which of the following devices can be used to test ports such as a network port? The correct answer is uh, a loop back plug, ladies and gentlemen. A loop back plug will allow for you to test a network port to make sure everything is running as it should be. All right. So in summary, we have talked about cable cutters, cable strippers, crimpers, punch down tools, multimeters, tone generators, and probes, cable testers, loopback plugs, and Wi-Fi analyzers. Now, if you feel like you have got something good and valuable from this information, please go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Also, go visit my website, technologyg.com so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1001 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.